I've been painting for so long, it seems. It's forever. Um, I got my first paint set when I was 14. I had asked my grandfather for a paint set the year before and I got no. Like, I, I painted everything. Didn't they know that I wanted to be an artist? No, my grandmother told me that I should be a secretary. So, but artist I was and I persevered and I bought my own paint set and I bought it with my babysitting money, so I got it. And my dad let me paint everything from the kitchen cupboards to his favorite tea tins to plates and everything. And I got my first canvas when I was 15. When I ask myself what my work's about, it's the work itself that informs me. It's nature. I'm painting rivers, I'm painting water, the sound of water. I'm painting the feel of the wind on my skin and, and just the quality of it rustling through the branches and leaves. I, I'm painting the elements. To me, um, nature is not just a realist rendition and nature is not only trees and landscapes and water, it's, it's our humanity, it's our feelings, our mm, subjective experience and I look for that in my work. And what's important to me as an artist is to, is to get out of the way to let the art create, create itself. First, it's just laying in the... the color palette. And I work over the texturing. a mess. And I love making a mess. I've heard of, of writers and musicians doing that and other artists about letting the process unfold and inform what, what the painting is about and what it wants to become. I love texture. I love texture. I, I, and the way the, you see depths in the rippling of water. If I were to paint a realistic rendition of water, I'd be painting all the layers. I've done that before, and now I'm interested in depth from a different perspective, from a textural perspective. But it's the same thing. Water has depth. There's the pebbles inside the water, and there's the layers of water, and those what the light does to the surface. It creates layers. That's what I'm drawn to, and that's how I work. I build up acrylic washes over the texture. I, well, at first I build up the texture and then I complete this with oil paint because oil lets me do something that acrylic doesn't. And that was my first paint set was oil. And I just, it just, I love the smell of it. I love the feel of it. Uh, it's like silk, you know, it's, it's, it's buttery, it's fluid, I just love it. People often ask me what the scratch markings are in my work, what these etchings are. And also the graphite drawing that I do right into the paint. And for me, it's primitive. It brings me back to cave painting. It reminds me of when I went to Australia and I just loved the cave art. And I have, I, I have when I was studying history, art history, and I, and I fell in love with cave art then. So to see the markings that our ancestors made, this just it, it, it exhilarates me, it excites me. I'm like, what were they communicating? What were their lives about? And that's, my work becomes a surprise that way. I'm like, hmm, what are these markings here telling me? And, and for me, this reminds me of Greek Greek mythology, it reminds me of water gods and, 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 and I call this, I'm calling it the age of Aquarius for that reason. And the age of Aquarius is our new time. It's the time of unification, unity. It's, 
it's a time of collaboration. So that's why, that's why it's so important for me to collaborate with my art, with the painting itself, to not impose my idea of what I want on this work of art, but to listen to it. To listen to it. It's like I started this painting dark blue and I pushed that in and it got pushed back and then I came in here and I added some rich red sienna and the painting said nope nope not that much and then came in the green and then came in the yellow and then came in more aqua just building and building and the separation of color came in I felt like oh this place this area of the painting needed oomph, you know, it needed tension, it needed attention. And I kept thinking, oh, this blue needs to come back in through here to marry, to, to interconnect. So I look for that composition and flow and the harmony of 